it's very difficult to manifest bliss. And I, I actually do believe that bliss is different than happiness. Right? I think bliss is a more, what? It's almost like a more sacred kind of energy. And I don't mean that in a judgmental way at all, because it's Saraswati, not. <laughs> but it's, I mean it in a, a it's less experience oriented or, or uh, externally driven, if that makes sense, and more internal, more of an internal uprising, an internal awareness of, it's more like a state of being than something that you get from an experience outside of you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think they're different. I think that happiness and bliss are a little bit different. They're, they're certainly related. Right, they certainly dance kind of side by side with each other. One can help boost the other one into manifestation or into being. Um, but I think bliss has a, 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 a greater spread, kind of a bigger current to it. And so uh, part of this practice, when you start to, in a certain way, deprive the negative mind, I guess one of the things you're actually trying to do is disempower your cranky self. <laughs> disempower, right? Your complaining self, your negative, your, you know, the part of you that, that uh, easily adopts the attitude of being the victim of someone or something or, or kind of easily goes into that cup half empty, that the less than part of the mind. And in those moments when the truth of who you are actually moves forward, not from your mind, not from anything that you're, you're, you're forcing to have happen, um, but just from that authentic space of being more real, right, then, then I think you begin to open up that opportunity for bliss.